Hey guys, this is Antari. Today I have for you something completely different from my ordinary stuff like any battles. I present you a tier, type of battle, whatever you wanna call it, Little Cup. I haven't done it yet and I like the idea behind this so I decided to try it, why not? Anyway, my opponent is uh, ChrisDemaster717 from YouTube, I leave the link in the description bar to his channel, uh, check him out. And also, if you don't know the rules uh, behind Little Cup, uh, I leave the info in the description bar below. Uh, just a short reminder, you have to use only Pokemon on their first evolutionary form, like Chinchar for example, and only you have to use only Pokes on 5 levels and with attacks to 5 level max. So anyway, first turn I go for Fake Out with my Chimchar, which is, you know, called Monfire no Pik I definitely need to fix this next time. And then we set up our Salt Rocks. After that, uh, he caught me completely off guard with uh, this Aqua Jet. I thought that he would go for Waterfall, so I go for a Will Wisp just to, you know, half uh, the de physical damage of his Kabuto. And after that, there is actually no point in switching because in Little Cup there is absolutely no spinners at all. So I just leave my Chinchar to die. And after that I decided to bring in a perfect revenge killer, which is Staryu. Staryu is an uh, actually very overused uh, Pokemon in the Little Cup environment, because it's got a great speed, great special attack stats and great move pool. So I just revenge kill it with Hidden Power Grass, and after that he brings in uh, Ghastly, and I know that this thing is slower than me, so it needs to be Scarfed. And I decided to predict uh, his special attack uh, T-Bolt, and I go for my Chincho. But he goes for Sludge Bomb, which is good on his part, and he ends up getting uh, Poison Hacks on me, which is, you know, kind of unfortunate for me. So after that, uh, he decided to take a switch into his own Chincho, as I go for a Sucker Punch, because I was predicting that he will stay in and, you know, try to finish off my Chincho with this thing. So, uh, yeah, because his Chincho is faster, he goes for uh, this uh, Confused Ray, and I end up hitting myself in this Confusion, which is very unfortunate because my Chincho didn't do anything at all in this match and he's able to kill my water Pokemon with Surf which is kind of ironic so anyway after that I bring in Ghastly uh, just to you know put his Chincho to sleep with Hypnosis fortunately for me it didn't miss and after that I decided to predict his switch and go for Confuse Ray because uh, the previous turn he confused my Chincho so that's kind of a payback <laughs> So anyway, after that I decided to go for knockoff, predicting another of his switches, but he decided just to stay in, which is also good because I just get rid of his item, which is Oranberry. So now I can easily go for this um, Shadow Ball, which is stabbed and only my only offensive move on the set of Ghastly. And after that I go for another Shadow Ball and this uh, one hit KO on this uh, Chinchu. So after that he brings in his Ghastly and I know that he's faster, so I need to take a switch into Shield On, which is my uh, damage absorber. And uh, I know that Shadow Ball is resisted, so I just, uh, you know, bring in my shield on and uh, yeah, it takes like a fucking pro. So after that he brings in his Machamp and on his switch I decided to go for Swagger, which is an epic move because it will, you know, uh, confuse this Pokemon and also gives him uh, some attacks and boosts. So uh, yeah, after that I decided to take a switch to Ghastly and thank god this thing hit itself. And thanks to this uh, attack boost it will deal him a huge amount of damage. So, after that uh, he decided to take a switch into his Magby, I go for Shadow Ball and uh, thanks to the Stealth Rock Recoil it will leave him on exactly 1 HP and that was kind of funny, he told me that he'd survive with 1 HP. So after that I decided to make actually the best play in this match, I bring in Staryu, he'll go for Flare Blitz which will, you know, uh, give him this recoil and finish him off and after that my Staryu ends up surviving that and my Oran Bar is activated so I'm back to exactly the same amount of, damage, of HP. Uh, I get before this attack, so yeah. After that he brings in his Ghastly, I bring in my shield on and he ends up uh, going pretty nicely for Thunderbolt because Thunderbolt is not resisted by shield on, it's only a neutral move on Ghastly moveset that you know can uh, do something to shield on. So yeah, Thunder he goes exactly and again for Thunderbolt, I go for a Stone Edge just to f kill him off and there's a huge threat to my team gun and yeah, I'm kind of happy about that. So. Uh, after that he brings in his matchup and he goes for Ice Punch, I have no idea why he goes for that because it's resisted definitely and shield on defenses are pretty good. And I go for Roar just to uh, see what his last Pokemon is look like because I haven't seen it and I don't want to be surprised by something uh, ridiculously powerful. So he just finished me off with uh, his Coughing's Shadow Ball and that's kind of good because uh, my shield on won't survive another uh, self rock recoil. So after that I bring in Staryu and I have no idea why I go for Ice Beam here, probably it was a misclick. So uh, yeah, his Oran Bar will be activated and he goes for Pain Split because he completely forgot about uh, that Oran Berry, he told me that. 
and after that I decided just to finish him off with Sir because Kofeng doesn't have uh, too good special attacks, special defense stats, sorry. So uh, after that he decided to bring in his last poke which is matchup. I decided to go for Surf and I was kind of unfortunate because as you see uh, after the self rock recall it will uh, you know leave him exactly at uh, half of his HP so his Oranda will be activated and now he's in, he I can't uh, one hit KO it with my Surf. So uh, I decided to bring in my Lavitar because uh, I just want to show you guys my last Pokemon because I can easily uh, revenge kill this matchup with um, my Ghastly. So yeah, that's Lavitar is kind of cool because it's got uh, D-Dance, uh, Facade, Flame Orb and Guts, so yeah, it's kind of cool. And after that I decided to bring in my last poke, Ghastly, he goes for this priority move Bullet Punch, I didn't see that coming, but I don't care because my Ghastly was to survive that, so yeah, I just kill it off with Shadow Ball. So that's a good game, Chris the Master 717 uh, comment, like, subscribe guys, hope you like this little cup uh, battle as much as I do, I really enjoy it, and uh, yeah, peace guys.